Here we have a half circle and we have a rectangle ABCD and a square DEFG inside of that circle. And we ask to find this angle X. What would help a lot in solving this problem is if you see the symmetry of the problem. So if you draw a line connecting the center of a circle, point O and point D, now if you look on the right and you look at this red uh, shape that consists of a square plus a segment OG, and if you reflect that shape over this blue line, you'll get shape like this. And if you see this, the problem is pretty much solved. But if you don't see it, that's still fine. We can solve this problem without knowing this fact. But it's just helpful if you see symmetries in the problems whenever the symmetries exist. So let's say we don't see this. Okay, What can we do? Here you see those green lines. Those green lines correspond to congruent sides, sides of the same length. So the next thing we're going to do, since it's a circle, half circle, it's a natural thing to do is to connect the center of the circle, point O, with all the points that are not connected yet. So we connect O with D, and we also connect O with points B, C, and E. I made them blue because they're all congruent to each other. They all have a length of radius. So now, what can we see here? First of all, if you look at this blue triangle right here and red triangle right here, they're congruent. They're congruent by three sides. They both have green side, they both have blue side, and they share a side OD. So, and because those triangles are congruent, respective angles are also congruent. In particular, we are looking at this purple angle C and purple angle E. They're congruent. Now, since they're congruent, these yellow angles, this one and this one, are also congruent. They're congruent because they're 90 degrees minus purple angle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at isosceles triangles, as we normally do. So here's triangle BOC, which is an isosceles. So what we know about isosceles triangles is that... Uh, angles at the base are congruent, so this angle C and this angle B, they both should be congruent to each other. But also there is a property that relates altitude, side by sector, angle by sector. So if we draw an altitude from point O, the altitude OH, that altitude is going to be a side BC bisector. So BH will be the same as CH. Right? But also what we want to look at is this green and this yellow triangles. They're red triangles and they're congruent to each other. They're congruent by side at two angles. They both have blue side, hypotenuse. They also have yellow angle here and also they have angle of 90 degrees. And since they are congruent, respected sides are congruent. And the sides I'm talking about side EF and side CH. They have to be congruent, so they both should be green. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to notice since OH is the side BC bisector and CH equals to BH, BH should also be green. And now notice we have a rectangle ABCD and one side BC is twice as long as the side CD. Now, BC is the same length as AD. And what we're going to do next, we're going to look at this purple triangle ADG. Notice this is a right triangle. It has a leg DG, which is half of the hypotenuse. And in the right triangle, when we have something like this, the angle opposite of this leg DG will be 30 degrees. And that's the final answer. Now, if you're not familiar with 30, 60, 90 degree triangles, there is a link. 
where I discuss this in more details.